Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for tech tutorials made simple. In today's video, we are diving into one of the most powerful LinkedIn automation tools out there, which is Linked Helper 2. Whether you're a recruiter, marketer, business owner, or just trying to expand your professional network, Linked Helper 2 can help you automate your outreach, messaging, follow-ups and more all while staying compliant with linkedin's rule so in this video we will walk you through how to set up your account create effective campaigns and make the most out of it smart automation features so if you are ready to supercharge your linkedin strategy and save hours of manual work don't go anywhere subscribe to our channel hit that like button and let's begin now, the first thing that you need to do is visit the official website of Linked Helper 2. On the top corner, you have the option to log in using your credentials. But of course, we all know that the better option is to click the free trial. If you do, you will be forwarded to a new page. All you have to do is very simple. Provide all the information needed. And to make the account creation faster and easier, you can sign up using your Google account. Once you have successfully created your account here in Linked Helper 2, you will be forwarded to the main homepage. And as you can notice that it is suggesting for you to install the LinkedIn Helper app to get started. You can use the um, option for Windows, for Mac OS, and for Ubuntu, right? And of course, it have like a minim minimal requirements right here. But if you don't want to get that for the Windows, just proceed with using the browser version okay so on the left side panel of our dashboard we have all these sections that we can explore now we're gonna go to the linkedin accounts so if you want to add your linkedin account here it's kind of like easy all i have to do is click the plus button right here let's do with that now after adding your linkedin account okay so you have like the instant state license valid until proxy and machine if you want to buy a license for this, I want you to click that button right here. And you need to buy a new licenses that would require you to pay this kind of amount. And if you don't want that, just click on cancel for now. And we're going to go to the billing section. The billing is basically your subscription plan here in um, LinkedIn Helper 2, which is right now we're using the um, free plan. So our options is kind of limited. And then we're going to go to the proxies. The proxies is where you assign proxy servers to linkedin account all right so click the new um, proxy provide the protocol ip host name port and login details all right so remember that you can add custom proxy ips and ports and you can assign one proxy per linkedin account and of course you need to view the proxy status and connection issues that reduces the risk of linkedin accounts banned by mimicking real user behavior and separating accounts by ip which is kind of really a, a good a tool now within the organizations you can organize your linkedin account click the plus button so that you can assign or uh, users or accounts to a specific organization for example in this case we're going to be using something like um I'm going to click on the uh, add button, right? So we have that already in place. So with this, you can collaborate with your teams, manage roles, and access levels, which is kind of really helpful if you are um, in an agency it's managing multiple clients or large internal teams. Of course, obviously, the notifications is where you can view alerts, system updates, license reminders, and activity loads. Now, since this is a newly created account, we don't have yet anything in place. But if you do, you'll see some uh, field actions, updates, or even system warnings. You can also have something like you can get notified about expiring sessions or licenses. You can control notification preferences here. Right? So you can stay on top of automation issues or lynch helper system changes. Obviously, the uh, settings is where you can configure global uh, preferences and automation behaviors. I'm going to go back to the uh, section where it, it it is asking us for to install the link in helper app to get started. Let me do that right now. Now we have logged into the Lynch helper 2 app. 
okay so you will be forwarded it's kind of like similar to the web version but here all right you can do more so we're gonna um abort this and skip that tour because we're gonna go to the um other options that the um app doesn't have uh it that the app has that the uh, web browser doesn't have and as you can see uh for the licenses it's a, a, a similar for organization it's similar notification plus the settings so we're gonna go here and then if you want to press the uh, play button so to open link an account let's do that right now so it could be open and now it's auto assigning the um, starting instance right now the machine is currently giving all the data it's initializing and what will happen is it will be forwarded to a new window all right so it's loading the link chain for you just wait for it and at this point if you uh if an encounter like um that the windows defender is basically um blocking that you might want to make sure that you provide an access to the um linked helper account as you can see it's automated right even the password right here so that's the good thing about um the linked helper too it's gonna do a quick uh security check for you and protecting your account so i'm not doing anything right now okay so it's the um Lynch Helper 2 is automating all the uh, information. So right now, it's um, there's going to be a problem with the logging in. Let me try that again, okay? Now that we have set up our Lynch account here in Lynch Helper, all right, on the uh, left side, we have more options to choose from. If you wanted to create a new campaign, just click the uh, create a campaign, and you can choose from a specific template, all right? So for example, is it going to be like an empty campaign? in mail a sequence maybe invite and follow up messaging sequences depending on your preferences so i'm gonna continue with this one invite and follow up right and continue with the selected campaign now with this you can create an invitation message template so for example in this case we're going to be using a different um scenario maybe helper 2 now you have all the variables if you're not familiar with these just um skip that for now okay and click um the um add variation if you wanted an optional text so i'm gonna copy this i'm gonna click the add variation and then you have the option to click the preview button all right so that's going to be the preview button and of course the templates library if you wanted to go back so I'm going to save the uh, this one to the gallery and I'm going to save it as a new one, all right? But of course, the uh, message is required. So click the save and close and then optional text right here. Click the add button and then just click the save and close so that we can already create an invitation message using a template. Click on the next button, all right? And then from here, save and close, click the next button, and you are going to be successful creating your first campaign here with the um, Lynch Helper 2. All right, so now we can add more profiles to our campaign by clicking the continue button. So you have all these. We can also go to the plugin store if you wanted to get more um, third party services to enhance your workflow here in Lynch Helper 2. All right, so you can have all these. Plus, if you wanted to go back to the dashboard, you can also do that. So you can have more insights and analytics that could help you create an informed decision using Hel Linked Helper 2. And with that being said, and that's a wrap on our walkthrough of Linked Helper 2. So if you are serious about Linked and marketing, this tool is a game changer with a smart workflows built-in crm and powerful automation features it can save you hours every week and of course help you grow your professional network faster and more efficiently just remember to use it responsibly and always prioritize a real engagement if you found this video helpful do not forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a tutorial just like this one if you have any questions about lynch helper 2 or want to share your experiences drop a comment below would love to hear from you and again as always thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video